What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here and finally the long awaited reveal for the new Call of Duty game is here. The name of the game is Modern Warfare just like we all expected and just like in the first part of the reveal trailer, the rules have changed. But before I get started guys, just a quick little disclaimer. I only really want to highlight the important stuff in the video. Um, a lot of other Call of Duty YouTubers were flown out to Infinity Ward Studios to play the game last week. So if you guys want to go check out their vlogs and some other detailed information, please go ahead and do so. Um, but like I said, I really only want to highlight the important stuff in my video. And uh, first off, Activision, seriously, thank you all so much for listening to the fans. Um, they really have changed the rules because for one... Um, basically this year guys there is no season pass like before instead PC Xbox and PlayStation are all gonna be getting the same support at the same exact time and one of the quotes that one of the studio heads gave to Charlie Intel was every design decision has been made with our players in mind and we've been taking steps to unite the community so with that like i said there's going to be no exclusivity agreement and there's also going to be crossplay between all systems which i thought i would never ever see before in call of duty history like this is so huge guys xbox players can play up with pc players playstation can play up with pc players and vice versa like it's it's really impressive what Infinity Ward has done this year and Activision. Um, they've also been working on a new engine for the past five years now. And we're going to be able to play that, of course, when Modern Warfare comes out. So that's pretty huge right there. And so, yeah, that's just a few things that I really wanted to highlight. The game is set to release on October 25th, which is a Friday. And on screen now are the different pre-order editions. We have the standard edition, which comes with a customized in-game tactical knife and one prestige token and then the operator edition which comes with a custom in-game tactical tactical knife the all gillied up operator pack the crew expendable operator pack and the war pig operator pack and then of course one prestige token to use on black ops 4 and then there's the operator enhanced edition this comes with the custom in-game tac knife the all gillied up operator pack the crew expendable operator pack the war pig operator pack and 3000 cod points and then one prestige token to use in black ops 4 and so yeah those are the online editions the online versions of the game i'm gonna throw the link down below to this article for you guys in case you want to check it out and read up on those bonuses some more but yeah guys like i said unfortunately i don't have much info compared to the other people who were actually flown out to play test the game um but from what i've heard is that infinity ward is really not holding anything back in terms of i guess a lack better of mature content for the game um, Drifter described and compared one of the missions as a live leak helmet cam of a slow agonizing death of innocent lives being taken and yeah from what I've heard it's pretty much the same thing lines up with each other and yeah it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen when that game goes live and see how the general public really takes to these missions. I don't really want to talk too much into that because I'd be getting into too much political BS. But yeah, this game really does sound absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, we did not get anything multiplayer related, but I will link a few tweets from a Chinese Twitter user. I assume he was like a QA tester for Activision or something, because a lot of his tweets do seem to have some truth behind it. Um, we didn't get any details on a co-op mission, but in the description it says squad up and play cooperatively in a collection of elite operations accessible to all skill levels. So I don't think there's going to be a zombies mode returning for this year. I personally think it's going to be something like spec ops, um, but we're going to have to wait and see for more details. I did see an image from Chaos Excellencer's Twitter with a image of the operator edition and below that it says that there's 2 to 20 network players in this um, game for modern warfare so i'm not sure if that means like a battle royale game or maybe this co-op mode will have like 20 players total inside of it or something i don't know um, but that's just something to i guess really think about and see what's going to happen maybe in the next couple of months here when they announce more information on spec ops and multiplayer and so yeah guys that's just a few information i really wanted to highlight again i'm sorry i don't really have too much information about the game itself but truly i appreciate you guys coming to my video here 
and uh, listening to the information that I did have on the game and I will keep you guys updated with anything else I can find about the game um, make sure to follow me on Twitter too because I have been posting a lot of stuff there thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave a like again and subscribe for more Call of Duty Modern Warfare news rumors and information till next time I'll see you guys later